hello welcome to the tutorial for HTML frames alright so um, an introduction the HTML frames are used to divide your browser window into how many other types of frames or sections that you'd like so the tag that we use as you can see is frame set now in a typical HTML program you have an HTML tag head tag title tag is optional frame set is the tag that we use to denote frames and um, columns and rows are what we use to, to differentiate them a few disadvantages of using um, HTML frames are smaller devices cannot cope with frames like for example if you're opening it on a mobile device and it is not mobile compatible um, you will not be able to see the entire frame um, also the back button may not work as as you usually like to because the frames may or may not be able to catch up with your speed and also as you will see later on there are a few browsers that do not support frame technology um, however this is not really a problem for most people because most of the browsers do accept frame technology also um, here are a few um, techniques on how to create frames we will see more of a detailed code later on but like I mentioned earlier um, we use a frame set tag instead of a body tag in order to denote frames as we usually after the head we use a body tag but this in the case of frames we use frame set now this is a sample output also um, there are two types of frames row of, row type of frames and column type of frames we will be seeing more about those later um, more about the tag as such there are several attributes that can be added um, however frame set tag is not supported in HTML5 although if you do want to use it you will have to set the doc type to um, XHTML frame set DDD so on like mentioned before not all browsers support it so this is a sample and these are a few attributes that are used uh, while creating frames src is for the source code as a name as a border width height no resize scrolling and um, yeah all right so we will be seeing examples of a few let's start with uh, a drive notepad um, this can be used um, through your Google Drive like I have done before um, here we're entering the name of the file that we're creating it automatically um, understands that it's an HTML file and highlights it accordingly and also um, Quite conveniently adds the end tag for most of the tags that we create all right so this is a sample program for HTML frames so let's use the title HTML frames which obviously comes under the head tag as I mentioned frame set is the name of the tag that we use rows or columns are uh, attributes now if we write numbers like 10, 80 and all of that, it will not accept the input. Therefore, we have to enter the percentages and make sure that your percentages obviously add up to 100. Alright. Um, one alternative, however, uh, to adding the entire sum would be to just use an asterisk in place of, um, you know, the second attribute. Alright. So once you enter the frame set tag, uh, you can open several frames. Now this corresponds to the first uh, frame set that you have opened. Let's copy a link and paste it there. I've set the name, which is an attribute, as top. And SRC gives you, or allows you rather, to, play, to place the link. Um, for the frame set now however you can use an HTML file 
from your own um, desktop or laptop or whatever you're using however since I'm using an online application I will use a general website's name now there are two ways in which you can close this tag in fact um, this is the more common way by using an end tag uh, please make sure to close your um, double quotes next is the second frame which corresponds to the 80% so we're giving it the name as main uh, we're adding the source code which is again a random website so we're copying it and pasting it here right so like I said there are two ways to close this tag just a slash and a closing symbol would do the last tag would be the bottom frame which corresponds to the asterisk also in other words the end 10% again adding another link copy and paste so again closing it using the shortcut method alright so this is a sample program we can save it or use control s command s as I'm using a Mac go back to your drive download the program this is the easier way to do it um, so once you've downloaded the program open it up and there we go since we have used rows as an attribute for the frame tag, we have several rows which is divided into 10%, 80%, and another 10% of the screen. Like you can see, the asterisk has calculated the remaining percentage that we have not specified. And as you can see, there is a scroll in each of these separate frames. Now this can be changed. As, as we like let's do that right so we can change it to um, like I mentioned columns frame set columns or also we can set it to no scroll um, like you have seen in the previous um, right, let's change it to columns first also let's change around the um, the numbers a little bit to make it a little bit more um, readable again you don't have to specify all of them you can just use an asterisk to specify the remaining number so clearing up some space um, as you know Google Drive um, Google Docs sheets all of them have auto save features so opening up yeah so you see that we have created a uh, column wise frames and they all scroll in both directions because you need that to be able to see the entire page all right so let's close this and um, let's show what a no scroll feature would do first we enter the attribute called scrolling and if you give no this will not allow you to scroll further in that particular frame right so opening up here you see the rest of them are loading as usual now the center page does not require um, horizontal scrolling but it does require vertical scrolling and as you can see in the first frame since we have given scrolling equals no it is not allowing me to scroll further however in the right frame and the center frame it is allowing me to scroll that's about it guys so there's also a certain feature called 
no frame uh, which allows you to display a certain message or whatever you like in case a certain browser does not allow you to um, use frames like mentioned before some browsers do not uh, you know support um, frame technology so on this website you can see an example for no frames they've created a simple program uh, where they've linked two pages into two separate frames and they've created a little no frame section which is for people who have browsers which do not support frame technology so let's try it out to give you a little bit more clarity and this can or cannot be created in the body section Typing no frames, creating a header, no frames, no problem, just download a compatible browser.